Hello, my friends. Welcome to another video. So, I've been in Florida. I'm way behind on releasing videos. I was at the Fluid Art Creative Escape with Canela Sirocco, and we had a blast. I'm going to talk more about that during this video, but right now I want to tell you what I'm doing here. So I got these amazing, amazing new frosted sorbet colors from Color Art, and I figured since I've been at the beach, I'm going to do a beach-themed week with videos, starting with today's PowerShell. So PowerShell is like abalone shell. It's got this beautiful interference, twinkle, sparkle, magnificentness to itself. And I wanted to try to see if I could replicate that. So what I did was I found a picture and I wanted to use this picture as a reference. You'll notice there's a lot of hard black lines in this type of shell. So I wanted to use a bunch of my interference colors, some of those beautiful new frosted sorbet colors, which I am going to show you in this video, and then do some outlining in black. Now this is, was just a test piece to see if I can get that effect. So the first thing I had to do was map out some sections, and that's all I'm doing here with the pencil, drawing out some areas. I'm then going to come in with some blue-gray paint, which I'm going to lighten with a little bit of white gesso because I noticed that it was giving off a very strong silver-grayish hue, that original picture. So I figured, let me paint my base in this color and see if laying the interference colors over the top would help me achieve that. So that's what you're going to watch me do right now. And while I have a second, I just want to thank everybody that came to the Fluid Art Workshop in Florida. It was absolutely fantastic to meet those that came. They, Everybody did such an amazing job. They learned. They all made beautiful Dutch pours and bloom paintings. Some of you made it home all right with them and they, they survived. Some of you didn't. But the main purpose of the workshop is to learn so that you can go home and create your own masterpiece. I cannot tell you how humbled I am by the amount of love I was shown. And most importantly, Miss Amy, the homeowner that let us use her guest house to do this event, Thank you. It was an absolute honor and privilege to meet you. I'm hoping we can do this again and meet some more of you beautiful, gorgeous stacks of hotcakes. So back to the art now. Oh, before I forget, I've added on a few more seats to my Texas class. If you're interested, the details will be in the description below. I it had sold out and a couple of you from Florida wanted to come. So I have updated the website. The information is in the description. So back to this painting and Beach Week. So we're going to do this power shell today. And then I have a gorgeous mixed media piece that you see all those shells laying there on the side of me. I'm going to be using those. So make sure you come back to check it out. So here is the piece after I've painted it, and I just went over the lines again with my Micron pen. So for colors, I'm going to be using the five interferences from Color Art. We have blue, gold, violet, red, and green. Green I did leave out because I've got another green from the new set I'm going to be using. I've also decided to use the color called abalone shell. That is this one right here, gorgeous. So here are the new colors. Can I say I was clutching my pearls, drooling. I mean, these colors, they're frosted. They look like they're frosting with beautiful sparkle. And that's why she called them the frosting sorbet set, I would assume, because 
I mean, look at this. Come on. Now that gets my motor purring. So this is a 12-piece set, primary elements. You also get a free color that you'll see here in a minute. That is gold, um, Indian spice gold to be exact, and two free bottles of medium to mix it with, which I'm going to explain what those mediums are when you see it here in a second. These colors are that I these have gotten me excited. You know, some colors come out and I'm like, oh, those are pretty. And then there's some that, wow, this is that set. Especially these pink colors. I, I am a pink girl and I just, oh, you can't see the beauty of them through the camera, unfortunately. You can see some of it, but not all of it. I guess you're going to take or have to take this old girl's word for it. So yeah, the 12 colors, they come with a bottle of Vivid Enamel and Vivid Polypore. The difference between the two of those products is that the Vivid Enamel is just straight enamel. It's an acrylic base that you mix these with. And basically what you've done is you've mixed up your own acrylic paint. That's what Primary Elements is. It's your own, make your own paint set. This is the free gold that you get, by the way. So it comes with a bottle of the enamel. Once you mix it with the enamel, you've made your own paint. What the polypore is, is it's the enamel with some varnish added to it. So if you wanted to use that polypore to do a bloom, you know, you can mix your colors and your two paints into that make a little cell activator and blow it out. So that's the difference between the two. Some people don't want varnish in their product. They just want to make their own paint. So that's why she offers both. And that's why you get an eight ounce bottle of each this month. And as always, the 20% discount in the description. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my interference colors and I'm just going to paint blocks of color. This is very simple. Anybody can do it. This is the interference violet. You can see it a little bit on the canvas right now. Um, again, you don't really see these until it's dry and you pick it up and move it around. So I took some of the violet, the blue, the red, and the gold, and I just painted blocks of color. Then I came in with four colors from the new set and I kind of did the same thing, but I used them to do a little bit of shading, uh, a little bit of highlights, low lights. And uh, you can see there when I pick it up, you can see the blue really good in the violet. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking here for a minute. I'm going to finish this section of just applying these colors and then I'll come back to explain what I'm doing next. So per the reference picture, there was really harsh black lines going through it. Now, I wish that I had not done this, but again, it's just a test. So we're going to go with it. I wish I had left it the way that it was and maybe did just like a very, very 
light, light gray over those lines. But again, I did it, so I'm going to work with it now. Some areas were giving me a really hard time with the, uh, I was trying to do a little bit of smudging with my fingers with a paper towel, which usually you can do on an acrylic surface. But because I was using those primary elements that were mixed in with the enamel, it was giving me a hard time and I, the water was just beating up on the surface. So that's just something to note if you want to do any type of smudging or blending of colors on a dried enamel surface, the water may give you a hard time. Now, as always with my pieces, well, not always, but a lot of times you have to hang in there till the end because you may be saying to yourself, what in the world is she thinking? Just hang in there till the end to see how this turned out. You know, eventually I get there one way, somehow. So I'm just finishing up. I'm going over the lines with some white to kind of lessen the, the vibrancy of them. And now I'm going to add on a coat of KS resin. I'm going to spread it out with my hand. I'm going to pop the bubbles and then I'm going to let it sit and cure. As always, you can go down to the description of this video and find discounts for a lot of these products that I use. And as I mentioned earlier, that color art discount has been bumped up to 25% for a limited time. So if you ever wanted to try primary elements or the resin line or the interference colors, now is the time. So I'm not happy with what happened with the paint, the black paint and how crappy it looks, but I'm going to attempt to fix that once I get this resin to cure and I will show you that next. But let's take a minute just to appreciate the beautiful sparkle shimmer color shifting that these colors provide. This is why I love these colors right here. No other paint line offers that. Okay, so, <laughs> where do I even begin? This thing, the black, just ruined it. But I'm going to look past that for now and show you this and show you how pretty the colors are. And then I'm going to talk to you about what I would have done differently. So, as you can see, those colors are absolutely beautiful beautiful now it's going to be hard to see right now out here with it cloudy um if the sun was out this would be so much more impressive i'll probably take it inside and show you there too but it is super super duper color shifting um unfortunately like i said though it's cloudy out 
see if I could. Yeah, you're not going to see it, really. Colors are gorgeous, though. So, let me tell you what I should have done. I should have done, and I'm going to do this to prove that it can be done. I should have painted the entire thing a much darker gray. And then I should have just used pops of color here and there, not the entire piece. Okay. The black, I told you I had a hard time smudging it so it looks very dirty. Then I tried to put some white lines over it to see if that would help. Eh. But I'm going to try it again and I have faith that I can get this to turn into this picture popping up on the screen right now. I want to see that image on my artwork and I'm going to do that. But we're going to end this video for now. We learned some things to do and not to do. And I hope you enjoyed it. So here we are back inside. What a beautiful background that would be to work on. Absolutely gorgeous. If you hear my grandson yelling in the background, don't mind him. They're playing video games and he's all worked up. <laughs> Look at this area right here. How beautiful. Wow. So other than those horrific lines, colors are beautiful. I hope you give them a try and I hope you come back for the next video because that one is really going to be a stunner. I can promise you that. You know, when I ever, whenever I do my mixed media and fluid art, it uh, really makes me happy and I tend to really shine in those videos. So Make sure you're subscribed and the notification bell is turned on. And remember to comment, like, and share. Check out the description for all of the information on the products I used. And don't forget about that 25% off code. You don't get those too often from Color Art. So now's the time to shop if that's what you're looking for. I love you all. And until the next time, happy pouring.